Hello and welcome back to Gab Official. Today I'm going to show you how to replace your rear door lock on this Renault Traffic. As you can see, this is the rear door lock for Renault Traffic that we're replacing today. You can see the internal fault in this actual circuit inside this lock. That's why we're replacing it. So as you can see, the cover is already off. As you can see, this is the cover. For the door, as you can see, this is the door. Literally, they're clipping for these little things here, as you can see. Literally, you've got to take a, a T, T30 saw tool to remove this one bolt. Literally, as you can see, you remove this one bolt. And this one bolt holds basically in the handle, as you can see this one. And then you literally just point and clip it with a trim tool. Move that out of the way and it comes straight off. You can see that's the plug for it, the plug's working. But as you can see that lock out there is full, it's not working, so we're gonna go ahead and replace that. As you can see there's quite a few wirings on it. You can see it goes into the main lock there. Just need to disconnect it from the green one there as you can see we're gonna, re we're gonna reuse that and we're gonna remove these t30s as well just through them actually it's a t40 to remove these three as you can see so we're gonna go ahead and remove those so yeah we're gonna go ahead and remove that now so we're gonna use the battery powered ratchet a lot easier. Should I take that all the way out? Otherwise, the lock will drop. Anyway, we've got a new one for it. As you can see, as you can see that wire in there that's connected to this. That's what you can use to unlock it as well. What we're gonna do is we're going to flip that. And now as you can see. We're gonna take that off now. Alright, so there's like a little clip. Show you. There's a little clip at the top, a little plastic clip that you just push down, and then literally just unhooks it. As you can see, that's off now. And then literally, what we need to do next is bring this look down. We're gonna literally just take this off as well. So as you can see in there, we've got, got a little clip there. And if you can see it, but there's a little clip holding this. I can see it from here, but you see that little, little clip up there. So we're going to need to take that off. Just so it slots out of it, like that. And then, we're going to turn it to the side. Slide it down. So, let's get anything out of the way that's blocking you. So as you can see, now we've got the cable. As you can see, what I mean to remove this cable, literally just need to pop this out and pop it out from there. So as you can see, so these little clips, I need to push them out to slot this out. This is my first time doing this, by the way. So. Bear with me. 
So literally, I'm gonna have to use both hands to do it, but as you can see these little clips need to be pushed out on each side and then pop this out. And then we'll literally just pull, that's gonna be able to just slot out. That's now off. As you can see, it goes on that way. You can see that little hook hook, it goes on like that. It goes into that little hole down there. And then literally, you see this one, you literally just, literally just slot out. Right, so, now that's out of the way. Down to take it out. That's basically it. Let's see, this is the old one. So we're gonna do is this cable, obviously, and this cable. We're gonna transfer them over on to this one. So literally, just like so. Just gonna take this one out. Realistically, it should really come with the cables. As you can see, let's just take it out like that, slot it in like that. all the way through. Like that. There we go. That one's now on. So one out of the way. Now we've got this one here, as you can see. Have to get that one off this one. There's that way. Slides out. As you can see this one, this one here. Not in like so. This is a bit tricky, but let's get it done. Hit that. Just remember it goes in like that. Same thing. The lock will be facing like that. So it's going to go up. Like so. That makes any sense. And this little lever here is going to be connected with that. This is literally where you can open the loop from inside. It's just going to go into that. See what I mean? And then this long lever here goes onto that handle there, as you can see. I'm going to go ahead and fit that back in. So, as you can see, you have to put it up that way. When it goes in, you're going to have to flip it, like turn it around. So, you move it all the way over this side be able to turn it around and then you can see from here as you can see you'll be able to turn it around and line it up like so and then this you just clip those in what I'm gonna do first is I'm gonna put those three bolts to hold it in place so as you can see got those bolts in now they're not tightened but they're just there now I've got my cables and stuff that I can move around as you can see I've got one up here here. So it needs to slot into, I can't really see it properly, it needs to slot into that. I'm going to go ahead and do that. So literally it's got like a gap there that it needs to go into. And then lock into place. And I'll show you. So as you can see, if you look at the mirror, a little hole on there that needs to slot into as you can see on the right hand side and then it clips into the other bit on the left hand side and that's what you need to get it into so you need to get this little as you can see this little thing here 
as you can see it's now in that's what i'm talking about that one up there as you can see it's all slotted in now we're gonna have to fit this cable back in see this one here as you can see where it goes it goes there flips into that Into that one, and then it's going to slot into that there. We need to flip that bit in first, and then they'll just slot straight in. So, as you can see now, you can see that's back in as well. Ain't going anywhere, that. See that? That's securely locked in place. And as you can see, that it's been flipped in as well. You can see all the way up there. As you can see, that's now in, but remember you need to put that one in first, then that one. You can see straight up there, especially that one there. Let's plug this plug back in. And then we'll connect this back up after. As you can see, it's all plugged in now, up there. And that's all we left to do is connect this one back in. So as you can hear now, our central locking is working. It wasn't working before. So as you can see, just literally just clips back on. Just tap it on. So as you can see, it's all back together now. I've also tightened these bolts now. And we're gonna shut it, see what happens. Lock. Doesn't unlock. Unlock. Works. You can see. Thanks for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe for further content on my channel. Stay blessed. Keep on rolling. Boom.